the weather heats up, these guys will be trying to get in your home. Oh. Uh-huh. After the break, a new way to prevent scorpions from getting inside. And what does Rick do? Should I keep, do I keep my jacket buttoned? It yeah. looks a little tidier. A little, or do you feel stuffy? Ah, I'm okay, but that looks good. you do this, then you get a big weird blouse out. I don't, I don't know. know. It looks inviting, though. Like, it just looks like... Oh, like, come on come, in. Come on. Bring a snack. <laughs> Settle in. Oh, okay. Well, we'll, go, we'll, we'll try and go. <laughs> well, okay, Tweet we'll us. work on it. Tweet us, yes. <laughs> okay, so you just said the weather, obviously it's going to get a little cooler, but it will warm up, especially uh, next week. Those pesky scorpions are looking for a place to cool off, and where do they look? Your house. Ron's bed. Yes, exactly. Ron Hoon has been bitten by scorpions at least three times since I've he been He has, here. yeah, he's prone to them. I think Renee reason. is loosing them into the covers. Maybe. And that's just me. Maybe well, it's not true. Well, then we're going to help them out. A Valley Company has a new way to keep those scorpions at bay. So, Diane Ryan is learning more about it. Good morning, everyone. We're here in Ahwatukee, and as you can see, a lot of the homes here are right up against the mountains, and that's where scorpions live. And as it gets hotter, they like to go inside your house. And most of us use pesticides, but there's a new thing now coming out, and we're meeting this man who is... Uh, come up with this idea along with your wife. We're talking to Mark Minkowitz and you are with Pest Borders and you have something new that will keep scorpions away and you don't have to use any pesticides at all. Exactly. My wife came up with an idea after 20 years in the desert and not liking scorpions so much, a way to keep the scorpions and other insects out of the home without the use of pesticides. As we know, pesticides are toxic and they're not really effective. So scorpions, black widow spiders, brown recluse spiders, many other insects can't climb smooth surfaces. So we have a patent pending product that is either made out of glass with aluminum extrusion or polished metal. And this product goes around the home, the entire perimeter of the home on the stem wall. Well, let's go over and, because you have, this house already has put this in. Yes, this house already has an installation of the pest border. And as you can see, it runs around the bottom part of the house. Now, something I would like to point out that most people don't know is that under, underneath the stucco area here, there are holes that enter into the walls. The scorpions and insects climb right up the stem wall and go through these holes. These holes are here for a purpose. It's so the air flows through the walls and keeps the wood frame dry. You have to have those holes and you can't plug them up. And most people don't realize that's the way scorpions are coming into the house, not through the front door or the garage door. They come right around any part of the whole entire home and go through these holes. Now, uh, how much does something like this cost? And do you have to go have it go entirely around your house? That whole house has to be surrounded with the pest border in order for it to be 100% effective for us to be able to guarantee that you will not have any scorpions in your house at 